Alrighty, so today we're going to be messing with that 72 C10 again. I've got some patch panels here. This is the full front floor pan pretty much from the seat forward up to the firewall. So let's get into the truck and let's get this project started. So in previous videos, I went ahead and just kind of cut this floor out because it is very rough in here and there was a lot of rot. So I've kind of just went ahead and made a little bit of a hole here, as you can see in dad's truck. But basically this truck, if you haven't already seen in the other videos, we've put new inner rockers, new cab supports, everywhere around this thing, also rear cap supports. So now we're gonna be addressing the floor. So we're gonna just kind of tie into this old structure over here and then just cut out our perimeter, get our patch fit up in here. So that's gonna be the first thing, kind of roughing this thing in and finding a place or I guess a home for this thing. I'm gonna get in here, just kind of feel around and see how high up we need to go in this panel. It's pretty rough on up in here. So we'll probably just go ahead and just about utilize that entire panel. So as you can see, hopefully, this panel, the way it is right now, it kind of almost has that inner rocker built into it. So that's gonna be something we're not gonna be utilizing since we already welded in these new inner rockers. So that's gonna be kind of the first thing to be trying to get going here. As you can see, this little body line is way up in here. So if we tried to just stick this panel in here, obviously that's gonna hit. What I'm gonna do basically is kind of get this lip here, just measure over to see how far that is, and then kind of do the same thing here. And then I can come in and kind of cut that. So it'll give us a rough idea of where we can start this thing. Alrighty, so like I said, I'm just gonna measure over from the inner rocker here to this uh, rain channel or whatever you wanna call it here. So it looks like it's roughly gonna be two and a half inches. So my game plan is to come over here on our patch panel and I'm basically gonna go two and a half inches over and I'm gonna just kinda scribe a line all the way down through here and cut it. I'm not gonna go that full two and a half just for the fact that I don't wanna cut too much because I mean I can always take more off later on than trying to add I mean that would be a lot harder so let's get this thing over to the table so it's easier to lay out and get it cut so in laying this thing out I'm just gonna basically take my tape to our little rain channel that I was calling it in the truck and I'm gonna come over about two and a quarter here and scribe a little line just using this is actually a automatic center punch but it's got a really sharp point on it and this painted surface here makes it easy to just scribe your line. Say you're going to get ready to do a panel and it was just raw metal. You could lay out like some blue layout fluid on this thing. And that would help you see where your line was. All right, now that I've got this rough scribe line, a little tip that I kind of maybe just came up with right now on the spot. But uh, what I'm going to do now is go and get some masking tape and actually lay this across here. That way, like in this void where it's kind of hard to get into with a scribe. I mean, you can get into it, but it, you're liable to walk on either side of this thing. So I'm gonna run and grab some tape and we can tape that line straight. And then hopefully that'll give us a good cut reference. Alrighty, so hopefully now you get an idea of what's going on. We're gonna be cutting on this side of the tape just basically gonna be running all the way up along this, and then that way we can get this panel in and get a little bit closer. I'm gonna be using these aviation snips. Down in here in this little valley, I'll probably maybe end up getting something else, but for right now, I'm just gonna start with these aviation snips and start working my way. Got this established and this line's all cut off and we've got that uh, inner rocker portion all cut off this thing. Basically, I'm just gonna take this thing back over here real quick and we're gonna test fit it and see how it's fitting up in the truck. Okay, now that we're able to kind of see where this thing is going in, we can see now that it's all gonna be covered with this patch, which is great. We're lining up. So now we just gotta start kind of roughing this thing in laying out a little bit of lines and cutting a little bit of this uh, old metal out. Viewing this a little bit inside the truck, I'm gonna go ahead and knock this little flange here off so I can get this thing fit inside the truck just a little bit better. But just basically like we did on the other side, I'm gonna take some tape, make a cut line, and then get this thing trimmed up and then fit back in. Now that 
that the panel is fitting much better with that lip off of the other side, I'm gonna go ahead and drill a couple holes in this panel perimeter so we can put some Clecos in there. This is a Cleco here. What it does is you push down on that and that kind of contracts and then you can push this through a hole and then that's gonna hold your panel in place, bonding it to the other metal underneath it. So that's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna just drill some holes around here, throw some Clecos in it, and then that way, whenever I get ready to cut my perimeter out, it'll all be nailed down and I won't have to worry about it moving around on me. And if you don't have Clecos, you can also use self-tappers, like just little self-tap screws. I've done that a hundred times. I did that on the other side. And that also sometimes helps pull the panel into where it needs to be. So now that I've got four of these Clecos holding this panel down, you can see that it's not wanting to move around and it's right in the shape that we need it to be. Um, I did bump this thing around a little bit with this Ramallet here. And I mean, no matter what panel manufacturer you go through, they're all probably going to be just a little bit off. They're not going to be perfect. This is an old truck. I mean, the body's probably tweaked a little bit. So don't get frustrated if the panel's not just exactly the way it needs to be because I mean, you can manipulate that thing enough with a hammer or something like that to get it to where it's going to be good enough. So now what I'm going to end up doing is coming back through here and scrubbing my line. And then I will probably just go ahead and make the truck metal fit the patch panel instead of the other way around. Just because, I mean, other than this metal right here, everything else is kind of old and nasty. So that's my game plan. I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing cut out and hopefully in the next scene, we'll be fitting this thing in for the last time. up on camera very good right now but I can see a line all the way around this thing so what I'm gonna do is come in probably with just an angle grinder and zip this old metal out real quick that way we can get our new metal fit back in here and hopefully start welding this thing before long Gonna get you guys in here and just kind of show you what happened whenever I cut everything out and what I did to prep a couple things because there is a pad down here that you're gonna wanna spot weld your panel to and also a rail. So that pad that I'm talking about is right here and I cleaned that up a little bit and I'll probably do it just a little bit more before I'm finally done. Also right in here, there was a couple spot welds I had to pop there. And then back here, there's a couple spot welds from the factory as well. So when we go back, we'll be spot welding the, this brace, this pad, and also that one. And then also your mount right here is gonna be getting a couple spot welds as you've seen I did on the inner rocker here. Now I'm gonna throw that thing back in here and let's see how close of a fit it is. see this floor is fitting pretty good there's a couple places here and there that are going to need to be trimmed but for the most part i'm pretty happy with the way this thing's fitting up but yeah i can start getting a couple little tack welds here and there but the first thing i'm going to do before i go to weld this thing up is i'm going to go on the underneath side and trace on the bottom of this panel all of my bracing and that pad that i showed you i'm going to trace all that out in my cap support here so i go back and put the little holes we're going to be needing in this panel so we can spot weld all the way across this thing. Alrighty, so hopefully you can see the lines on this panel, but basically that is going to be where our structure is going to catch this panel. You can see that one Clico hole down there is right there on that cap support. I'm just going to go ahead and leave that hole in there obviously, and then just kind of go up, maybe put three here, and then just some around the perimeter of that pad, and then also on the other cab support that runs up the middle. All 
Alrighty, so it's day two in the shop. Yesterday we were able to get the panel fit in and all that good stuff. Today we're going to be filling in all them spot welds with weld and then going around the perimeter of the patch itself and getting it glued in. Alrighty, so the first thing I'm going to be doing, like I said, I'm going to be welding all of these holes up and the panel's fitting pretty good. Um, this seam here is really nice and this one also. After I do all the welding and stuff, I'll have to press this one down and kind of just go along here and make it fit as we go. So I'm gonna grab the welder and we'll get it started. Alrighty, so I've got everything tacked in up here, and now Luke is gonna come in. He's gonna, he's volunteered to weld the rest of this in. So basically all I did, and you've seen it in the video, but I just went around the perimeter of this and got everything tacked in. Uh, we didn't hit many of these spot welds just because we were mainly focusing on the fit up on the other, other side over here and all that good stuff. So Luke's, like I said, I'm gonna come in here, hit this, and I'm gonna try to get to work on something else. Alrighty, so now that the panel's all welded in, I'm gonna come back in here with the flap disc and just hit all the highs on these welds. I'm not gonna go to like the extent of metal finishing this by any means, but I do wanna just knock the highs down on a couple spots just to make it a little bit nicer. <laughs> Alright, so that's pretty much our finished patch. I just kind of went around like I was saying and you've seen in the video clip. I just kind of went around this thing and cleaned up the welds just a little bit. But that's basically how I'm going to leave this thing. You could go on to just hit everything with 80 grit and get this thing really smooth. But That's going to be another one in the books. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Dad's truck is another step closer. I know I keep saying that. It feels like it's never going to be here. But hopefully here before long it'll be on the road. But thanks for sticking in here, and if you stuck in here this long and you enjoyed the content, maybe hit the subscribe button down below if you don't care. And until next time, have a good one.